welcome to Porto Montenegro and our first episode of the new year. Yes, you might have noticed on the title, season five. Season five! <laughs> Doesn't seem that long. No, time goes quick. <laughs> I hope you like the film. Coming up, New Year parties Montenegrin style. A technical review, the triumphs and disasters of 2022. And the ghosts of yesteryear. What's with all the shoes? The winter sun throws a special light over Porto Montenegro. The place is beautiful, even when it's been raining. Luckily, the rain has stopped because we are out and about collecting packages. Thank you, Havala. So here we are, this is our boat stamp and we need it to get goods in transit. So we're having quite a few things delivered to Montenegro. It's got our boat name, SSR number and London, which is where we're registered. And we're going to get a package right now. The customs office is about a 10 minute walk from our berth, but it is an easy process to pick up our new solar power station, which has come all the way from China. Hey, EcoFlow. <laughs> yes. So that's all done, lots of stamping of forms, but we've got it here. This is the new EcoFlow. Actually, it's a little EcoFlow Delta, a small one, a sort of updated one from the one we had before. So we're good to test it out. And it's good to know we can actually get things in here quite easily because we've got uh, the sales coming uh, pretty soon. So yeah, keen to get those on board. Meanwhile, like most places in the world, we have a break for Christmas and New Year. Here it is celebrated in some style, with entertainment for the children and winter walks along the promenade. For the most part, the weather is lovely and sunny. And of course, winter is also a time for sailors to work on their boats. So you can see we've got the winter bimini up. We like to call it our conservatory, but actually, let's see at the moment, that's a little bit like more like a garden shed. Got all the bits and pieces from all the jobs I'm doing around here, but it's great because it keeps them out of the rain and stops it clogging up everything, making inside uh, all messy. Been polishing up the derades and the, the ship bell. Uh, managed to do that with uh, one of the electric buffers. Uh, got a reasonable job done on that. I mean, it really came up really badly with all the lacquer. Uh, since we've left the cooler climates for, for sort of non-sunshine, sunshine, the, the lacquer thing really isn't working for me quite as well. So if anyone's got any good ideas about bronze outside, some way to, uh, to stop it tarnishing quite so quickly, um, try something else. Someone mentioned something with uh, alloy wheels, a sort of spray that you can put on alloy wheels to stop them staining from brake dust. That might be a good alternative, I don't know, because, uh, yeah, that took a, took a bit of cleaning. So I did need, did need the electric, which I did with this. I used the, the EcoFlow, the new EcoFlow, took it out and uh, stuck it on the, uh, on the dock side because it means you don't sort of smash polish all over the boat when you do it there. So I just wanted to show you that up against the, the old one. I mean, we've, we've just changed it because EcoFlow wanted us to, uh, to test this new one. We're quite happy with the old one. It's, it's perfect. This is the little Delta, the first one that, that we got. And as I say, it's, it's small and you know, easy to sort of take around, which is why we like it. We've got the, the Max as well, which is the one that we showed you uh, before. Uh, the, the new one, the bigger one, which is our real sort of backup power unit, you know, really much more powerful uh, and, and, and it's really good. But the reason that this one is good is because it's compatible with that system because it's got this plug which is the one that uh, the generator puts the DC output from so we can charge the Delta now from the generator as well. I'll put a link up in the in the corner if you miss that it's got a good little system with that but the uh, the generator being able to power these as well as from solar and uh, and 12 volt and mains and whatever else you want so yeah useful little thing. So I'll be using that on the deck to finish off you can see I've been putting some plugs in uh, got to finish off doing the rubbing down of, of those and putting some Semco on uh, and then all the hatches all the insides putting some varnish on I've got to take them right back I've patched them up a few times but they need doing properly now so yeah lots of jobs to do Christmas is coming. in between jobs there's plenty of Christmas celebrations the marina is right next to the town where there happens to be a very posh hotel. So that's where a group of us liverboards had Christmas lunch. 
Then the braver souls amongst us had a Boxing Day swim. Oh, that's cheating. <laughs> And to answer your question, yes, it is colder than it looks. And talking of questions, we thought this would be the perfect time to look at how some of our boat stuff is holding up. So this is an end of year technical review. Just to sort of as an update because we get lots of people that ask. So first of all, the True Kit dinghy here, which is coming up for its third year. It's looking a bit the worse for wear. <laughs> it gets very abused because um, it gets used in the winter. I mean, it's December now, we're using it. We used it right through the winter in, in Venice, didn't we? Yeah, um, absolutely. yeah. So yeah, I mean, it's, it, gets, it gets a lot of use, this one. And we have lost the, the seat that goes across the middle and the oars, that was completely our fault. That was in um, Mel Tammy in, uh, in Greece and we're trying to lift it up onto deck and it flew like a kite. It's one of the things you've got to think of with these lightweight dinghies. It's fantastic they're so light, but when it's really windy and you're lifting it up, got caught. Luckily I had the painter tied off so we didn't lose a dinghy, but the other bits came flying out. Um, but yeah, everything else has been, been great. We've had yeah. one hole in it. Um, again, our fault in Venice, there's a nail coming out of a wall, went into it, fixed really easily. Couldn't even find it. You get a nice little kit with it, a nice little repair kit. Um, couldn't find it, of course, <laughs> so I found it since. Um, but fixed it with something that was meant for welly boots. And, it, and it's lasted perfectly um, until, well, it's still there now, still, still perfectly. This front one is, is losing a tiny bit of air and I found a little hole for that so I can, I can easily repair that as well. So yeah, great. I mean, I think really it's a 10 out of 10, isn't it? I, oh, I think it's amazing. Actually, no, I thought of one thing. I oh, what? These. These, actually one of the reasons we lost the oars was those little Velcro straps, there's four of them, and it's great because there's positions on top and inside, but they all within well, less than a year, they're not very good in the sun, they just disintegrated. Oh, okay. Oh, nine and a half then, but we make it 9.8, because I just think it's an amazing thing. <laughs> nine and a half, we do halves. Nine and a half. <laughs> nine and a half, okay. How much do we love our e-propulsion engine? A lot, love it, love it. Yeah, it is, <laughs> it is amazing, I mean, it's not missed a beat, um, being fantastic everywhere, it's quiet, it's lovely. In a situation like this, I mean, you don't want a, you don't want a noisy, horrible petrol engine. Um, 10 out of 10 for me. 10 out of 10? Absolutely. And when we did have a little niggle, yeah. service was brilliant. It was, but we yeah. can't give it a 10 out of 10 because it did have a fault, which did need to be fixed. They were brilliant at fixing it. So I don't think we can get a 10 out of 10. Oh, for goodness sake. Come You're on. so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's another nine and a half. All right, nine and a half. Fair Sorry. enough. <laughs> so, so far so good. But the next one we're going to go through has had mixed reviews if you've been uh, following along from the from the beginning. Um, it's our thing from Digital Yachts, which is what we get all our communications through. We've got good high powered antennas for Wi-Fi and for 4G. Like I fitted two years ago in Venice. Um, and I said at the time, hardware looked really good, software was really clunky. Uh, since then, they've done a big update on the software, it didn't really improve it too much. I wasn't going to give it a good review, view, but it's got worse since then because last week um, I tried to just do something with it and I had no Wi Fi hub at all. This is the box that gives me the Wi Fi hub, that's why it's sort of all been taken down. I've been fiddling around with it because it's just not working at all. Um, I've talked to their technical guy, Paul, who is very good. He's the saving grace of that place, who tries to sort of see if there's anything wrong. And I've had to use him a few times. But for this one, he said, well, send it back. If it's under warranty, you know, we might be able to change it. I'm not sure if it is still under warranty, to be honest. But at the moment, I've got several thousand pounds worth of equipment that's completely and utterly useless. So I'm afraid I struggle. I'll get a one just because their technical services are pretty good. But at the moment, one out of 10 is the best they can possibly have Hopefully they'll come through and um, do something to fix it, but we'll see. But on from that to something that is certainly much, much better, Super B batteries. Yeah, they are a game changer, absolutely brilliant. It's changed the way that we cruise really. It's meant that the last season that we've had them, we could just stay out, we very rarely needed to, uh, to come in to get any shore power and we don't have the big onboard generator anymore. Don't think we would have been able to do that with any amount of AGM batteries. So. Yeah, very, very pleased that we fitted the uh, the Super B batteries, but I'm not so keen on this. This is their uh, monitor, and 
No, it's okay. It tells you the basic things, but it's a bit lackluster really for, for, for something like this. Um, you'd expect it to be able to show things like maybe the, you know, the balance that you've got proper balance between all the cells. It can do that with a special thing that they have that you put into the computer, but that's a bit of a faff. So I think you know, it'd be good to have that. They say they're gonna update it. and uh, Yeah, so when they do, I'll hopefully get hold of one of those and uh, be able to tell you if they've, uh, they're gonna get 10 out of 10, because at the moment they've only got nine. Nine out of 10, sorry about that, Super B. Everything else was absolutely brilliant. The last one that we look at though, got high hopes for this one, because we haven't said anything bad about this, the Spectra Watermaker. Um, it's been great. It's worked really, really well. Can't fault it. Absolutely brilliant. I mean, actually, it's been better than I thought it would be because when we fitted it, it was supposed to have the scoop facing forward, not backwards. And I thought, oh, it's probably not going to work that well when we sail. Well, it does. Works absolutely perfectly. Still get perfect pressure. Hasn't missed a beat. And that is another game changer. Having your own fresh water all the time it does exactly what it says on the tin. It hasn't used more power than it said it would. It makes exactly the, the amount of water that it said it would. So it's done it. 10 out of 10. And just like that, it's 2023. Fireworks and parties where we celebrate our seventh winter on board Fair Isle and four seasons sailing her in the Med. And our first dawn of 2023 looks like this. Magic. Our first hike of the new year is up in the mountains overlooking the bay where there are several 19th and early 20th century fortresses. Think it's spooky? It's strange because it's sort of in a hole. Usually they have the forts up so you can see stuff. It's supposed to be spooky. <laughs> I'm sure it's spooky inside. And it is yeah. spooky, that is. There's a roof terrace. <laughs> Not only because it is quite dark, but there are just so many gun positions and it doesn't take much to imagine ghosts. Big gun? Certainly gunned up. Here's the shaft lift as it was. Just for this bring ammunition, I've got to imagine. <laughs> what is this about? A room full of women's shoes. The Montenegrins protected Kotor Bay until the Austrians ran them out in 2016. Oh, it's a lovely view. <laughs> then the Italians moved in during the Second World War. And yes, these are toilets. As far as we know, the most recent occupant of the fortress was a solitary Orthodox monk. Now the picturesque position is left for sightseers like us. How lucky we are to have such a beautiful view. It really is a spectacular view, but I'm still thinking about those shoes. <laughs> if anyone knows anything about the shoes, please do let us know because we've been asking around and everyone just shrugs their shoulders and says, I don't know, well, yeah. someone must know, someone put them there. <laughs> <laughs> it's very strange, good pairs of shoes as well, quite yeah. often. Anyway, we've had a lovely break over Christmas, New Year's, two Christmases actually here, because the main one is actually on the 7th of January, the Orthodox Christmas, which is very good. It's getting a bit more chilly for that. In fact, I can see a little yeah. bit of snow at the top of the mountains, which is good because we're going to go skiing. It is, and you always like a bit of snow when you've got mountains. And I know it's been, well, there's not been much snow, has there, up in the Alps? So, no, no, the, yeah. no, we've got a daughter in, in Austria, not much snow there. But look, we're not complaining about the sunshine because we've managed yeah, to lovely, get a yeah. few jobs done. I'm Hopefully it's going to be
be stay rain free enough that I can do the decks. I need to Semco the decks uh, just to protect them. I've sort of put some more bungs in and bits like that. And and yeah, we'll we'll sort of carry on. We've got some new toys to play with that you'll see in the next yeah, episode. Some new things, but it's also we thought it was important to follow up, do that long term technical review yeah. as well, because it's all very well when things come out of the box, they look shiny yeah. and new and lovely. But do they last? And so that's why we, we did the point system. Yeah, and last we're doing the year. same with this. The new things that we review yeah. will do a sort of a longer term thing as well, just to see see what goes. I mean, the thing I've got at the moment, and we never reviewed one of these, but uh, we've got a, a drone, a DJI Mavic Air 2 drone, which uh, one of them died. It came came off the back and for no reason just went yeah. straight in the water. They're not waterproof, sadly. They're not, no. <laughs> they sink. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get them back. So, you know, that was a big loss. But I couldn't work out why, why it's gone. But I think they're getting a bit flaky. We bought a new one. Try to update the firmware, wouldn't take it, completely wouldn't take it. I've mean, yeah. spent days trying to work it out. But luckily, one of the new things we've got is a different sort of drone, which is a waterproof one. So, yeah, watch out for that. It's going to be a really good one. It's called an egg. Yeah, it's called an egg by Cowvision. <laughs> They're great. <laughs> So we have got things to look forward to over the next few weeks. We're going to go out sailing because it is so nice. I mean, the weather's nice, it's cold, but that's never stopped us. No, no, no. And, yeah, <laughs> and, and during the middle of the day, it's, it's been fine. It's sunny. And because we've got this shelter in the bay here, it's great. So, yep, looking forward to that. Looking forward to a new season. Lots of things we're yeah. going to do. We don't, we're still not sure exactly where we're going to go and when we're going to go there. But... It'll all be revealed when we know. We'll tell you. Yes, <laughs> when we've worked it out, when we've looked at some maps and, <laughs> and um, well, um, other things as well. The Schengen where we shuffle. Can go for Schengen. Yeah. Yeah, more, more so, people. thank you very much to our patrons. Thank you to our subscribers, and thank you for watching. And we'll see you throughout the season. I hope. Yep. Thanks for watching. <laughs>